Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the Princess Leia Sandstorm Outfit figure that was produced by Hasbro as part of the Star Wars Vintage Collection line of products. I got this as a trade recently through the Marvel Universe Collector Club Forum from a user by the name of Steve's VWs82. So I wanted to thank him on YouTube publicly for sending this to me, and hopefully we'll be able to do another trade sometime down the road. All right, this Princess Leia figure is part of the Blu-ray deleted scene wave of Star Wars Vintage Collection figures that came out in 2012. I was never able to find this version of Leia in my area, so I was glad to be able to finally get this figure to review. When I first got the figure out of the blister pack, I liked what I saw. As was the case with the Sandstorm outfit Lando Calrissian figure uh, from the same wave that I've previously reviewed, you get a choice of displaying Leia in her slave girl outfit from Jabba the Hutt's palace, or you can dress her in the outfit she wore in the deleted Sandstorm scene from Return of the Jedi. Paint apps were nicely done. Facially, um, I don't think this looks much like Carrie Fisher. However, I still feel that it is a nice looking feminine face. A lot of intricate detailing went into her slave girl outfit, and the skirt is made of cloth, and the bra is part of the figure mold. The joints on the figure moved pretty well right out of packaging. I had no problem in moving the head, shoulders, mid-abdominal crunch, elbows, wrists, hips, knees, or ankles. The only problem that I ran into was getting her to hold the included staff accessory, as her right hand feels a bit fragile, and the left hand is in this open position, and it cannot hold uh, the staff accessory at all. So I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. So let me pause here, zoom in, and give you a closer look as to what Princess Leia looks like. Okay. All right, uh, Princess Leia did come with some accessories, as I just said. So let me pan down real quick, and I'll show you what they are. The figure stand that you see her standing on was not included in the package. Okay, first up, here is the alternate Sandstorm outfit. This consists of two pieces uh, of clothing and this set of goggles. The goggles fit on her face pretty well, but they are quite small and consequently can be easily lost. The outfit itself is two pieces, a cloth poncho right over here, and this hood over here, which is made of a soft plastic. Swapping outfits on this figure was a little bit more of a challenge than it was with the Lando Calrissian figure, as you have to pop the head off this Princess Leia figure to add or remove the cloth poncho portion of her Stan Storm outfit. Getting the hood off and on this figure is also a bit of a challenge, as it is quite a snug fit. Okay, next up, here is uh, the staff accessory that I just mentioned, and I believe she used this during the period that she was disguised as Bausch. At least I think that's how you say the uh, character's name, Bausch. Uh, the bounty hunter in Jabba the Hutt's palace. Uh, it has some nice detailing on it, as you can see. All right, back to the figure itself. What I'll do now is a quick 360 of Princess Leia and let you see what she looks like from all sides. Okay. So overall, I'd have to say that this figure, it really isn't that bad. Um, I like that you get two figure appearances in one package. So you have the option of being able to display Leia in the slave girl outfit, or you can display her in the uh, Sandstorm costume from that deleted scene in Return of the Jedi. Paint apps were also done very well. Um, about the only flaw that I did find is her hands feeling a bit on the fragile side. But other than that, um, I think that this uh, Princess Leia figure deserves a great recommendation. It makes for a very nice addition to your Star Wars figure collection. Okay, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.